Tom Brady shuts down idea of returning to play for Jets. Next question. Aaron Rodgers got hurt on his fourth play with New York. The first time Tom Brady retired, it only lasted 40 days. In February, the NFL legend retired, for good, and it seems he is sticking with his word. When Aaron Rodgers ruptured his Achilles in just his fourth play as a New York Jet quarterback, speculation immediately began that the team could give the seven-time Super Bowl winning Brady a call. It's unknown if that ever happened. But if it did, he has made it seem pretty clear it's not an option. On Brady's, let's go. Podcast, co-host Jim Gray asked him straight up if the team called him. Hardly before Gray even finished the question, Brady wasn't having it. Nah, no, no, no. Next question, he said. You already know. I love being with you guys on Mondays, and I love what we got going. This year was the first time the 46-year-old was not at an NFL training camp since 1999 after playing 23 professional seasons. But of course it might be tempting for the Jets to give their once arch-nemesis a call. New York acquired Rodgers in a blockbuster deal in the offseason after the four-time MVP spent his previous 18 seasons with the Green Bay Packers. However, before Rodgers even completed a pass, they were right back to where they were last year with quarterback Zach Wilson, who has failed to live up to his billing as the second overall pick in 2021. The Jets came away with an unreal victory despite Rodgers' injury in Week 1 against the Buffalo Bills, but they fell to the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday, 30-10. Jets head coach Robert Sala has said that Wilson will remain the starting quarterback for the rest of the year. Tim Boyle is currently the backup. Rodgers hinted that if the Jets make the playoffs, he might return, as he reportedly had an innovative surgery that could see him back on the field in four months. Give me the doubts. Give me the timetables. Give me all the things that you think can, should or would happen because all I need is that one extra little percent of inspiration. That's all I need, he said on, the Pat McAfee show. Give me your doubts. Give me your prognostications, and then watch what I do.